Hey there folks, Caleb Downing with SDI, and real quick today, I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about AR-10 compatibility and non-compatibility, even in and amongst themselves. So let's talk about it. All right, so basically, I know enough about this to get me in trouble, and hopefully I don't confuse you guys, all right? Hopefully I don't, I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna to try to keep it as simple as possible. AR-15s are kind of like the Lego of gun worlds. We all kind of know that, and Legos just click together and go together perfectly fine. AR-10s are like the red-headed stepchild or that weird knockoff brand, not really Lego, but it kind of works with Lego, but the pieces just don't click together right. I think some of you know what I'm talking about, some of you probably don't, but I think a vast majority of you probably do. AR-10s are like that knockoff version to where it just, they just don't fit together with everything right. You gotta get the exact same model, like from the same set, and then it'll go together fine. But you try to mix and match, it's not gonna work, right? So basically what I'm talking about here, is on AR-10s, you have two different major patterns, right? You have the Armalite pattern, and you have the DPMS pattern. This right here is an Armalite pattern. You can tell that by these distinctive angles in the upper receiver. Same thing with this guy right here. Distinctive angles, this is an Armalite pattern. You also have a high and a low profile. That refers to this portion up here, either it's high or it's low, just like it sounds. You would think that if you had two receivers, both Armalite pattern, both high profile, that you'd be fine. You've checked two of the major boxes, handguards are gonna fit, everything else is gonna fit, but that's not right. And I found this out the hard way because I didn't really know to look for it. That's one reason I'm making this video for you guys, right? You also have to look at the thread pattern for your barrel nut, all right? Here's what I'm talking about. This particular handguard had this particular barrel nut on it and he works perfectly fine. He threads on, does what he needs to do. So I was gonna take this barrel nut and the subsequent handguard and I was gonna stick that on this upper receiver right here. I went to start to thread things in and it only tightened up a little bit and I was like, that's just not right. So I checked for burrs, I checked for some misalignment and stuff, just making sure I wasn't cross threading. No, it just wasn't working right. More and more I looked at it, I realized that one of these has a coarser thread than the other one, the, the upper receivers. And so I really started doing some research and I found out that not only is there an Armalite and a DPMS pattern and a high and a low profile, there's also an 18 threads per inch and a 16 threads per inch for your barrel nut. I had no idea that that was even a thing. and. I shouldn't really be surprised at this point that there's even another la layer of compatibility you gotta check for on AR-10s because again, they're not compatible across the board so you gotta be really careful. So this company that I got this handguard from, uh, they were actually a smart company because they will offer an 18 threads per inch and a 16 threads per inch or you can buy both so you can interchange your handguard in between different uppers, upper receivers that might have different thread patterns or you may not even know what thread pattern you have so you just order both of the barrel nuts, right? That's the only company that I know of that, there's only one company that I knew of that I could find that actually did this. Most companies, they don't even say what thread pattern their barrel nuts are for their AR-10s. Because in general, AR-15s, it just uses the same thread pattern. I don't even know what it is off the top of my head, it's just a barrel nut. It, you just get a barrel nut, unless it's some special proprietary thing, in which case you're gonna know that because you're buying that for a specific reason. AR-10s don't have standardized specific thread patterns across the board. You gotta find out which one you got. So that's just a little thing to note if you're building AR-10s. AR-10s are not for the faint of heart. There's a lot of compatibility issues. You've got to do your research or else you're gonna end up spending a bunch of time and a bunch of money and a bunch of frustration trying to piece together something that just isn't gonna work. Kind of like if you're trying to build a Lego set and then that weird, piece comes in and you're trying to make it work from that off-brand Lego thing, it's just not gonna work. So do your research, buy once, cry once kind of thing, um, and don't just try to force that together because if I had just tried to force that barrel nut onto this handguard, I'd have gotten a messed up, stripped up upper receiver and just destroyed the whole thing. So don't do that. All right, hope you found that interesting. Hopefully you found that helpful. Again, I'm Caleb Downing with SDI. Catch you later.